Hi students, today we are going to discuss exercise 6.2 problem, the remaining problem. The fifth one, find the altitude of parallel pipe determined by the vectors a vector equal to minus 2i vector plus 5j vector plus 3k vector, b vector equal to i vector plus 3j vector minus 2k vector and c vector equal to minus 3i plus j minus 4k vector. If the base is taken as the parallelogram determined by b vector and c vector. <coughs> What is find the altitude of a parallel pipe? Find the altitude of the parallel pipe. Given the three edges A, B, C is given. If the base is taken as the parallelogram determined by B and C. What is find? Find the altitude. And what is given? Given the three edges A, B, C, three edges are given. Now find the altitude of taking base is taken as the parallelogram determined by B and C. The area of the base of a parallelogram is B and C. That is the area is modulus of B vector cross A vector. That is the volume of parallel pipe is base area into altitude. Base area into altitude equal to volume of parallel pipe. Now find the altitude base area into height equal to given the volume. Now find the altitude altitude equal to volume of parallel pipe divided by base area. Now find the result is altitude. First, now given the edges is a vector equal to minus 2i vector plus 5j vector plus 3k vector and b vector equal to i vector plus 3j vector minus 2k vector and c vector equal to minus 3i vector plus j vector plus 4k vector. Given three edges. First now find the volume of parallel pipe. There. Volume of parallel pipe, volume of parallel pipe is then box product of A vector, B vector, C vector. Then box product of A, B, C vector. Now we can write in a box product of A, B, C is in determinant form. That is a determinant of A vector, B vector, C vector. That is a determinant of A vector. The component of A vector is minus 2, 5, 3. And the component of B is 1, 3, minus 2 and the component of C is minus 3, 1, 4. Now expanding the determinant. Now expanding the determinant that is equal. Now expanding the determinant. First one now take the element minus 2 into 2 common sorry column or row or eliminate getting the minor matrix 3 minus 2, 1, 4. Now 4, 3 is 12. Formula is minus. 1 minus 2 minus 2 formula minus minus of minus plus plus 2. The next one taking the element 5 minus 5 column and row are eliminated getting the minor matrix 1 minus 2 minus 3 4. Now multiply 1 into 4 are 4 4. Next one minus in the minus plus formula is minus 3 2 are 6. Next taking the element 3 plus 3 into Column and row are eliminated, getting the minor matrix 1, 3, minus 3, 1, 1, 1 is our 1, 1, next 1, minus 3 into 3 is minus 9, formula is minus of minus plus 9, that is equal minus 2 into 12 plus 2, 12 plus 2, 14, 14 minus 5 into 4 minus 6 is minus 2, plus 3 into 9 plus 1, 10, 9 plus 1 is 10. That is equal minus 2 into 14. 14 into minus 2 minus 28. Minus 28. Minus 5 into minus 2 minus or minus plus. 5 to start 10. Next one. 10 into 3. 30 plus 30. That is equal. 30 plus 10 40. 40 minus 28. 40 minus 28 is minus. Sorry. Plus 12. 40 minus 28 is plus 12. Volume of parallel pipe is. 12 cubic units. The next one, 5. Given 
the base taken as the parallelogram determined by b vector and c vector now find the area of base the area of base or area of parallelogram area of base equal to area of base equal to modulus of b vector cross c vector area of base equal to modulus of b vector cross c vector now find the b vector cross c vector now find the b vector cross c vector b vector cross c vector that is equal to vectors or vector product by using determinant form determinant of the component of b vector is 1 3 minus 2 the next one the component of c is the component of c minus 3 minus 3 1 4 now write in i j k i vector j vector and k vector i vector j vector k vector the component of b vector is 1 3 minus 2 and c the component of c is minus 3 1 4 that is equal i vector into i vector into first one 4 3 is 12 next one 1 into minus 2 minus 2 already formula is minus minus or minus plus 1 2 are 2 next one minus j vector into taking the elements j minus j vector into this column and row are eliminating getting the minor matrix 1 4 are 4 next one minus and minus plus formula is minus 3 2 are 6 plus k vector into k vector into column and row are eliminate getting the minor matrix 1 1 are 1 next one 3 into minus 3 minus 9 minus or minus plus 9 that is equal i vector into 12 plus 2 14 next one minus j vector into 4 minus 6 4 minus 6 is minus 2 plus k vector into 9 plus 1 is 10 that is b cross c equal to b vector cross c vector equal to b vector cross c vector is 14 i vector 14 i vector minus or minus plus plus 2 j vector plus 10 k vector plus 10 k vector is b vector cross c vector. Now find the modulus of b vector cross c vector. Now find modulus of b vector cross c vector equal to modulus means square root of square the values. Square root of square the values. This is square root of 14 square. 14 square is 196 plus 2 square 4 plus 10 square is 100. 10 square 100 equal to root of 196 plus 4 200. 200 plus 100, 300. The square root of 300. Now write in the square root of 300 is 100 into 3. 100 into 3 is 300. 100, the square root of 100 is 10. This now write in 10 root 3. It is a modulus of B vector cross C vector equal to 10 root 3. Now find the altitude. Now find the altitude of a parallelogram. Now find the altitude of a parallelogram is volume of parallel pipe. Volume of parallel pipe is base area, area of base into let h be the altitude, let h be the altitude equal to volume, equal to volume. Area of base is 10 root 3, area of base is 10 root 3 into h equal to volume already find, volume is 12 cubic units, 12. Now find the altitude, now find the altitude here h equal to 12 by 10 root 3 12 by 10 root 3 now cancel the value uh, 2 table 6 2 are 12 5 2 are 10 that is h equal to h equal 6 by 5 root 3 6 by 5 root 3 that is h equal to 6 by 5 root 3 equal to h equal to 6 by 5 root 3 6 by 5 root 3 now cancel the value root 3 is cancel now multiply divide by root 3 now multiply divide by root 3 multiply divide by root 3 that is equal 6 into root 3 by 5 into root 3 into root 3 root 3 into root 3 is root 9 root 9 is also root is 3 3 now cancel the value 3, 1 3 is 3, 2 3 is 6, that is equal to 
2 root 3 by 5. Therefore, the altitude, suppose altitude equal to altitude h equal to 2 root 3 by 5. That is answer. Now next problem, the sixth one. Determine whether the three vectors, 2i vector plus 3j vector plus k vector, i vector minus 2j vector plus 2k vector and 3i plus j vector plus 3k vector are coplanar. Even the three vectors are coplanar. Three vectors are coplanar means then box product of a vector, b vector, c vector equal to getting the value is 0 given the three vectors are coplanar. Given three vectors is let, let a vector equal to you know, write in a, a vector, b vector and c vector. a vector is 2i vector plus 3j vector plus k vector and b vector equal to i vector minus 2j vector plus 2k vector. And C vector equal to 3i vector plus j vector plus 3k vector, this C vector. Now find box product of, box product of A vector, B vector, C vector. Now check the box product of A vector, B vector, C vector. Now check the box product of this value. Then box, now check the box product value using the determinant, we're getting the result equal to 0 given the 3 vectors are coplanar. Given box product of a vector, b vector, c vector, now write in a determinant form. That is I, first one, the component of a is 2, 3, 1, and the component of b is 1, minus 2, 2, and the component of c is 3, 1, 3. Now expanding the determinant, now expanding the determinant, getting the value equal to 0 given the a, b, c are coplanar. First one taking the element 2 into 2 minus 2 into 3 minus 6. Sorry, minus 6. Pharma is minus. 1, 2 are 2. Minus 6, minus 2. Next one taking the element 3. Minus 3 into minus 3 into column row eliminates. 1, 2, 3, 3. 1, 3 are 3. 1, 3 are 3. Minus 3, 2 are 6. 3, 2 are 6. Next one plus 1 into column row are eliminated getting the minor matrix 1 1s are 1 next one 3 into minus 2 minus 6 pharma minus minus half minus plus plus 6 this implies 2 into minus 6 minus 2 minus 8 next one minus 3 into 3 minus 6 3 minus 6 minus 3 plus 1 into 6 plus 1 7 this implies 2 into minus 8 minus 16 minus 16 minus into minus plus 3 3 is a 9 1 7 is a 7 this implies 9 plus 7 16 16 minus 16 value equal to 0 getting then box product of a vector b vector c vector equal to 0 therefore therefore a vector b vector c vector are Co-planner. A vector, B vector, C vector are co-planner. The next problem, seventh problem. Let A vector equal to I vector plus J vector plus K vector, B vector is I vector, and C vector equal to C1 I vector plus C2 J vector plus C3 K vector. If C1 equal to 1, C1 equal to 1 and C2 equal to 2, find C3 such that A vector, B vector, C vector are co-planner. Already you know, given the three vectors are coplanar, then box product of A vector, B vector, C vector value equal to 0. Given three vectors are coplanar, then find the value of C3. Then find the value of C3. Given A vector is, now write in here, A vector equal to I vector plus J vector plus K vector. And B vector equal to I vector. C vector equal to C1 I vector plus C2 J vector and C3 K vector. Here C1 is given, C1 is 1, C1 is 1, 1 into i vector is i vector plus C2, C2 value 2, 2 into j vector, 2 j vector plus now find the value of C3, C3 k vector. Given A vector, B vector, C vector are coplanar, coplanar means then box product of A vector, B vector, C vector equal to 0. Then box product of 
a vector b vector c vector equal to 0 then box product of a vector b vector c vector equal to 0 now write in a box product is in determinant form the first one write in a component of a is 1 1 1 and b is i only 1 the remaining is 0 that is 0 0 next the component of c is 1 2 c 3 1 2 c 3 equal to 0 equal to 0 now expanding the determinant now expanding the determinant first one taking the element 1 1 and 0 and anything value is 0 0 and anything value is 0 next one minus 0 and anything value is 0 total values is 0 next one minus 1 and minus 1 and this column and row are eliminating getting 1 0 1 c 3 1 into c 3 is c 3 minus 1 into 0 is 0 this value is 0 next one plus 1 into taking the element 1 column and row are eliminate getting the minor matrix 1 2 are 2 minus 1 into 0 is 0 2 minus 0 is 2 that is equal to 0 and it implies 1 0 is 0 1 into 0 is 0 minus 1 into c3 is c3 minus c3 next one value is 0 1 to 0 2 plus 2 equal to 0 that is implies minus c3 equal to uh, plus 2 that side minus 2 that is minus minus or cancel c3 value c3 equal to 2 therefore the value of the value of the value of c3 equal to 2 the value of c3 equal to 2 Next problem, question number 8, if a vector equal to i vector minus k vector, b vector equal to xi vector plus j vector plus 1 minus x into k vector, and c vector equal to yi vector plus xj vector plus 1 plus x minus y into k vector. Show that box product of a vector, b vector, c vector depends on neither x nor y. Now, given three vectors a vector b vector c vector is given now verify show the result box product of a vector b vector c vector getting the result is not equal to 0 x and y is independent independent of x and y then box product of a b c is independent of x and y now check the result then box product of a b c box product of a vector b vector is c vector equal to now write in a box product is using the determinant the component of a vector the component of a vector is i vector minus k vector i value 1 and j here not value that is 0 and k value minus 1 the component of a is minus 1 next the component of b is b x is x the component of a is x 1 and k is 1 minus x the component of b next the component of c is y x 1 plus x minus y 1 plus x minus y now expanding the determinant now expanding the determinant first one you take 1 into that element 1 into 1 into 1 plus x minus y is 1 into 1 plus x minus y is same answer 1 plus x minus y formula minus formula is minus x into 1 minus x x into 1 minus x x into 1 minus x is x into 1 is x next one x into minus x is minus x square minus half minus plus plus x square next one 0 taking the value 0 0 into anything values is 0 that is the values is total values is 0 Next one, minus 1 into minus 1 into this column and row are eliminated getting the minor matrix. x into x is x square. x into x is x square minus 1 into y is y. x equal multiply by 1. 1 plus x minus y minus y minus x plus x square. Next one multiply by minus 1 minus x square 1 into minus into minus plus 1 into y is y. Anyone cancel this value? Plus x minus x cancel. 
minus y plus y cancel, minus x square plus x square cancel, getting the result is 1. Then box product of a vector, b vector, c vector equal to 1. Therefore, therefore box product of a vector, b vector, c vector independent, 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 independence on x and y, independence on x and y. Next problem, question number 9, if the vectors a i vector plus a j vector plus c k vector, i vector plus k vector and c i plus c j plus b k vector are coplanar. Even three vectors are coplanar. Through that, c is the geometric mean of a and b. c is the geometric mean of a, b, c. Even the three vectors are coplanar. Already you know coplanar is then the box product of a vector, b vector, c vector equal to 0. Even the three vectors are coplanar. Prove that C is the geometric mean of A and B. C is the geometric mean of A and B. Geometric mean is, let you know geometric mean. Geometric mean is square root of A and B are multiplied by any numbers, any value. A and B are B and C, anyone. Root of A, B is geometric mean. When C is the geometric mean of A, B means C equal to root of A, B. We have to prove the result. C is the geometric mean means C equal to root of AB or C square equal to AB. Anyone prove the result? Given three vectors are coplanar. Now write in uh, first one is A vector is A i vector plus A j vector plus C k vector and B vector equal to I vector plus K vector and C vector equal to C i vector plus C j vector plus B k vector that is A B C. Even the three vectors are coplanar means then box product of A vector, B vector, C vector equal to 0 are coplanar. Three vectors are coplanar. Then box product of equal to 0. Box product of ABC is now right in a determinant form. The component of A is A, A, C. Next one the component of B is 1, 0, 1. And the component of C is C, C and B equal to 0, equal to 0. Now expanding the determinant, now expanding the determinant, now expanding the determinant, first one, take the element a into 0 into b is 0. Next one, formula minus 1 into c is c, minus c, that is minus c. Next one, taking the element minus a into column and row are eliminated, getting the 1, 1 c b, 1 into b is b, minus 1 into c is c. Next, so taking the element c, c into row at column, eliminate getting 1 c is our c. Next one minus 0 into c is 0, that is equal to 0. This implies a into minus c is minus a c, minus a c. Next one multiply by minus a, minus a b, minus half minus plus a c. Next one plus c square equal to 0, c square equal to 0. Now minus ac plus ac gets cancelled, minus ac plus ac cancel, that is implies c square equal to ab, minus ab that side plus ab, c square equal to ab, c square equal to ab means c equal to root of ab, root of ab means geometric mean of a and b, geometric mean of a and b therefore Therefore, C is the C is the geometric mean of C is the geometric mean of A and B. The next problem, question number ten. Let A vector, B vector, C vector be three non-zero vectors such that C vector is a unit vector perpendicular to both A vector and B vector. If the angle between A and the B vector is 5 by 6, show that box product of A vector, B vector, C vector whole square equal to 1 by 4 modulus of A vector square modulus of B vector square. We have to prove the result. Modulus of, sorry, box product of A, B, C whole square equal to 1 by 4 times of modulus of A vector square modulus of B vector square. Given three non-zero vectors is given where C is a unit vector 
where unit vector is perpendicular to both a vector and b vector. C vector is perpendicular to both a vector and b vector. So this, this is a vector, this one is b vector, this one is c vector. A c vector is perpendicular to a vector and perpendicular to b vector. C vector is a unit vector. C vector is perpendicular to a vector and perpendicular to b vector. That is the line is a vector cross b vector. The perpendicular line is called a a vector cross b vector. A vector cross b vector. C vector is perpendicular to a and b. Also, a vector cross b vector is perpendicular to a vector and b vector. So, C vector is parallel to a vector cross b vector. C vector is parallel to a vector cross b vector. Next one given the angle between a and b is angle between a and b is 5 by 6 angle between a and b is 5 by 6 to show that the result box product of whole square equal to 1 by 4 times of modulus of 1 by 4 modulus of a square modulus of b square now where c is a unit vector c vector is a unit vector c vector is a unit vector and the c vector is perpendicular to a vector and b vector c vector is perpendicular to a vector and b vector and so c vector is parallel to a vector and sorry c vector is parallel to a vector cross b vector c vector is parallel to a vector cross b vector first one now taking the box product of a b c whole square now taking the box product of a b c box product of a vector b vector c vector equal to then box product of a vector b vector c vector is scalar triple product scalar triple product now we can write in a vector cross b vector dot c vector write in a scalar triple product that is a cross b dot c now assign a cross b equal to small a vector dot c vector by using the definition of scalar product by using the definition of scalar product is a vector dot b vector by using the definition a dot b equal to modulus of a modulus of b into cos theta using the definition of scalar product a cross b dot c is by using the scalar product modulus of a vector cross b vector dot sorry into modulus of c vector into cos theta cos theta where theta value is where theta is a cross b a cross b and c angle between a cross b and c is where a cross b and c is a cross b and c vector is parallel two vectors are parallel in dot product dot product is cos theta two vectors are parallel theta values is 0 degree or pi two vectors are parallel a cross b and c vector are parallel where theta values is 0 0 degree or cos pi 0 degree or cos pi cos 0 degree value cos 0 is 1 cos pi value minus 1 cos pi value minus 1 so maybe getting the answer is plus or minus plus answer or minus plus or minus modulus of a vector cross b vector modulus of c vector modulus of c vector it is equal to plus or minus a cross b a cross b is a cross by using the definition a cross b a cross b is by using the definition vector product by using the definition by vector product a cross b is modulus of a modulus of b into sin theta n cap sin theta n cap that is a modulus of a cross b is modulus of a vector modulus of b vector into sin theta where theta is angle between a and b is angle between a and b is pi by 6 angle between a and b is pi by 6 n cap where n cap is the unit vector unit vector is c vector that is modulus of c vector into modulus of c vector that is equal plus or minus modulus of a vector modulus of b vector sin pi by 6 sin pi by 6 sin pi by 6 means sin 30 degree sin 30 degree value 1 by 2 sin 30 degree 1 by 2 where c is the unit vector that is the value is 1 into 1 is 1. So that is answer is 1 by 2 plus or minus that is equal plus or minus 1 by 2 modulus of a vector modulus of b vector. 
that is a box product of a vector b vector c vector now prove the result modulus of sorry box product of a vector b vector c vector whole square equal 1 by 4 modulus of a vector square modulus of b vector square. now squaring <coughs> box product of a vector b vector c vector whole square equal to square the value 1 by 4 modulus of a vector square into modulus of b vector square hence it is solved.